It is the fourth Wednesday of the month, meaning we are going to take you to Idaho State University for some of their top stories of July. KPVI News and Works for your reporter Jason Borba has the latest with ISU Today. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jason Borba, and welcome to another edition of ISU Today. Researchers at Idaho State are building a machine to fire hockey pucks at 100 miles per hour. The machine, once completed, will fire pucks at hockey skates, protective gear to test a product designed by a Boise company. The research is funded by a 111,000 Idaho Global Entrepreneurial Mission Grant from the Idaho Department of Commerce. ISU says a collaboration between a public research institution, State Department, and the private sector is essential in growing Idaho's economy. Being able to help people prove, you know, yeah, prove that this is gonna, gonna be a piece of safety equipment that could really, really change the way that people play the game. And you know, whether it's whether it's pros or whether it's kids, I mean this this could really change you know, change safety equipment for hockey players everywhere. So that, that could be really cool. Researchers hope to launch their first puck once school starts and will continue testing the machine throughout the year. And a building on campus now has a new name. The William M. and Karen A. Eames Advanced Technical Education and Innovations Complex is the new name for the ISU facility formerly known as RISE. The newly named facility will serve as a state-of-the-art techn technology and research complex focused on expanding the College of Technology's programs and provide space for related research. In February, ISU announced plans to relocate a number of College of Technology programs into the facility to meet a growing enrollment. One ISU student's artwork is getting the star treatment at while it's on display on the campus library. ISU is featuring works on paper by Idaho native and undergraduate student Tessa Fielding. The display includes the media of printmaking, including solar plate, etching, silk screen, and dry point. It also includes watercolor and ink. The public is encouraged to view the art from now until September at the ISU library. And ready or not, football season is almost here. The Idaho State Bengals kick off their season in 35 days at home against Western Oregon. ISU is coming off their second consecutive losing season where they finished 2-9 and nine in last place in the Big Sky Conference. There isn't much confidence that ISU will do much better this season as they were picked to finish last by the coaches and the media in the preseason poll. Idaho State players were also left off the preseason all conference team. That will wrap it up for this month's ISU Today. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. And coming up on KPVI News Today, we take a look at your KPVI News Today headlines.